Have you ever wondered why prices move so mysteriously in certain areas on the chart? Why are there price levels that attract a significant amount of trading, while others go unnoticed? In this video, we'll introduce you to an advanced tool that helps decode these questions, a unique indicator that combines volume profile and imbalance. This tool not only provides volume data, but also allows you to gain insight into how large flows of money are operating. From identifying key price levels to detecting imbalances that could predict future volatility, this isn't just an indicator, it's a gateway to a deeper understanding of how the market truly works. Get ready to explore how volume data can assist the way you trade. On the NQ chart, let's take a look at the imbalance profile LIDAR indicator. First, you can review the parameters. We will explain each component of this indicator in the next section. Once the indicator is activated, let's check the signals to see if this indicator is working effectively. You might notice that the signal zones appear blurred. This isn't because the indicator is malfunctioning. These areas become blurred when they have been broken or have exceeded the age defined in the parameters. However, if you'd like these areas to be clearer, we'll guide you on how to do that. Now let's explain the three important components that appear on the chart. The green area is called the bullish value area. This area represents the price range where a significant volume of buying has occurred during a price increase. The indicator will look for bullish signals within this zone. The red area is known as the bearish value area. This area represents the price range where a significant volume of selling has occurred during a price decrease. The indicator will look for bearish signals within this zone. This area is called the imbalance zone. Point of control, POC. This is the price level with the highest trading volume within the value area. POC zone. This is the area that concentrates the most volume within the value area. It indicates a strong level of investor interest at certain price levels within the value area. Let's move on to the introduction of the parameters. Resolution. Select the calculation mode for the value area. With the tick mode, the indicator relies on data from individual ticks to calculate volume. In minute mode, the indicator uses volume from the one minute time frame as the minimum time frame to calculate volume on larger time frames. Here are a few important notes. When using a minute time frame, you can use both tick and minute modes. However, for the one minute time frame, it's recommended to switch to tick mode for a more detailed volume calculation. If you are using a tick time frame, you need to use tick mode for accurate volume calculations. Keep in mind that switching to tick mode may result in longer calculation times for the indicator. Neighborhood defines the conditions for forming swing points. Period. This determines the number of candles in a consecutive series of bullish or bearish candles needed for the indicator to identify the imbalance zone and value area. As shown on the screen, 
If the period is set to four, it means the series will consist of four consecutive bullish candles. Next, we have two parameters that define the breakout of the value area, broken offset mode and broken offset. We'll explain these parameters in more detail during the breakout signal section, so stay tuned to see how they work. Blockage, bars. This sets the maximum length, number of bars of the value area. You might notice that we have the default setting at 480. Why 480? In a day, we have three trading sessions. Asia, European, American. Each trading session lasts for eight hours. With a one minute time frame, each trading session consists of 480 one minute candles. The reason we chose this setting is that trading volume varies across sessions. Thus, the value areas formed during the Asian session may no longer be relevant during the American session. You can manage the value areas to align with each specific trading period. Block filter, enabled. This parameter allows you to select the volume value of the value area that is formed to align with the trading period. You can see the small numbers below the value area. These represent the total volume of the value area. When this option is not enabled, the indicator will display all value areas that meet the formation criteria without considering the volume value factor. As we mentioned in the block age section, since the volume differs in each trading session, this parameter helps us filter out the value areas that are suitable for each specific time. When you enable this feature, an additional section called Block Filter Min Volume will appear in the parameters. This parameter is used to filter out the appropriate value areas. In the settings, if Min Volume is set to 200, it means that the value areas will need to have a volume greater than 200 to be considered valid. On the chart, you see two value areas with volumes of 2600 and 1500 respectively. Let's adjust the min volume setting to 2000 and see what happens. You'll notice that the value area with a volume of 1500 has disappeared. This way, you can choose the appropriate volume value of the value area based on the current trading context. Block, distance from swing point, bars, this parameter defines the maximum distance from the swing point to the series of bullish or bearish candles. First, we have a series of bullish candles. Next, we identify the nearest swing point. The number of candles between the swing point and the series of bullish candles represents the distance. With the default setting of seven candles, a distance of three candles comply with this parameter's requirement. However, there may also be cases where the series of bullish candles starts right at the swing point. Inner block, quantity mode. This parameter determines the number of volume bars displayed vertically within the value area. With the auto mode, the indicator calculates the volume and displays the volume bars in the value area based on each price increment. In user-defined mode, the indicator allows you to set the number of volume bars to be displayed, corresponding to equal price intervals within the value area, and it calculates the volume for each bar according to your settings. When you activate the user-defined mode, an additional parameter called inner block user-defined quantity will appear, allowing you to set the number of volume bars displayed. Let's adjust this setting to see how the changes occur. We will change this parameter to 4. You'll notice that the value area is now divided into four sections with equal price intervals, and the volume is calculated for each of those intervals. 
Imbalance filter, enabled. This parameter is used to determine the height of the imbalance zone in ticks. When it is not activated, the algorithm will search for and display all imbalance zones that meet the formation criteria without applying the height requirements. When activated, the algorithm will search for and display imbalance zones that meet both the formation criteria and the height requirements. The parameters will include two additional settings, imbalance, max high, and min high, allowing you to adjust the minimum and maximum height of the imbalance zone. With the settings of max high set to 200 and min high set to 4, this means that an imbalance zone will be formed when the height meets the minimum requirement of 4 ticks and the maximum requirement of 200 ticks. Now let's move to the final part of the parameters. Signal filter, enabled. This determines the conditions for forming the POC zone and the signals of the imbalance profile LIDAR that are generated within the POC zone. Signal filter, volume preset. This sets the conditions for forming the POC zone. With the setting at 100%, the POC zone will be the same as the value area. We'll adjust the inner block quantity mode to auto and set this parameter to 60% so you can clearly see the POC zone. The POC zone is the area between the two yellow dash lines. As you can see, the POC zone represents the area that concentrates 60% of the largest volume within the value area. Finally, we have signal filter, quantity per block. This parameter determines the maximum number of signals that can be generated within the value area. Since signals are proposed within the POC zone, if you want more signals, increase the signal filter. Volume percent to a higher value. However, this may lead to more noise in the signals. We'll raise the volume percent to 80% to look for additional signals. At the same time, we'll increase the number of signals in the parameter from 1 to 2. Now you can see that the number of signals in each value area is two signals. These signals represent the primary signals of the imbalance profile LIDAR indicator. Alongside the primary signals, we also provide two additional signals, which you can find in the alerts section. Condition, volume return is used to activate the IPL signal. Condition, breakout and imbalance return are used to activate the two additional signals, break and imbalance. Let's activate these two signals to see how effective they are. You can observe the signals proposed from the imbalance zone. Now, let's move on to the breakout signal. In the beginning of the video, we didn't explain the parameters block broken offset mode and broken offset percent. Now, we will explain these parameters in more detail. When setting the block, broken offset to 100%, you can see that the bullish value area is breached when a candle closes entirely below the value area. At this point, the breakout signal will be formed. However, to clarify further, we will adjust the broken offset percent parameter to 60% so you can see how these two parameters operate. When adjusted to 60%, the breakout signal is formed earlier when the candle closes below 60% of the value area and the value area is officially breached. This mode is similar to the previous one but uses tick. After introducing the parameters, let's see how this indicator operates. We are currently in the trading session of the U.S. market. Based on the volume data provided by the indicator, we can see significant value areas appearing with values of 6,600, 7,500, 9,900, and 13,400, alongside smaller value areas with values below 4,000. We can also observe that some IPL signals are giving false signals in the areas with values below 4,000.
how to remove value areas that don't match your trading timing. We will guide you on how to eliminate value areas that are not suitable for the current trading session. You can adjust the block min volume parameter to a minimum value ranging from 100 to 500 to display all the value areas during the trading period. After that, you can check the average volume during the period you want to trade. This will help you select a suitable volume for your trading time frame and choose appropriate value areas. In this case, we notice that value areas with a volume below 5,000 provide unsuitable signals. Therefore, we will adjust the min volume to 5,000 to eliminate the value areas with low values. You can see on the chart that the unsuitable signals have been removed. Now let's look at the period outside of the U.S. trading session. We notice that the volume of the value areas outside of the U.S. trading session is usually low for NQ. If you want to trade during this time frame, you can adjust the min volume to a value of 100 to find suitable value areas. Let's see what the indicator provides us with. That's it for the Imbalance Profile LiDAR Overview. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our latest videos. Happy trading, and we'll see you in the next one.